let's take a closer look at the Opalescence Whitening Menu. The gold standard in tooth whitening, Opalescence, is a dentist-controlled take-home bleaching system that has been creating brilliant smiles for over 17 years. Opalescence is dispensed in syringes and is a clear, flavored in mint, melon, and regular, sticky, viscous gel. It is available in 10, 15, 20, or 35% concentration of carbamide peroxide. In addition to whitening, Opalescence is the originator of the exciting PF formulations, which have been proven to reduce carie susceptibility, lower sensitivity during and after bleaching, improve the micro-hardness of the enamel, and improve enamel health. Opalescence appeals to a broad range of patients and is considered a premium tooth whitening product. The customized trays and take-home convenience appeals to those looking for a dentist-approved whitening system. Unique qualities such as the sustained release formula, patented sticky viscous PF formula, four concentrations, and three great flavors are what make Opalescence a continual leader in the whitening industry. Opalescence has been shown to be effective for removing the colors present on teeth from the time of tooth eruption and or the stains of aging. Success of varying degrees is usually obtained with even the difficult discolorations of tetracycline and brown fluorosis discoloration. Opalescence is also used on non-vital teeth for intercoronal bleaching. Opalescence provides a more conservative modality of treating dark, discolored teeth. The first step in fabricating custom trays for whitening is to take an alginate impression of the patient's upper and lower arches. Fabricate the tray by pouring the alginate impression with fast set plaster or dental stone. To ensure accuracy, do it shortly after making the impression. When fabricating, remember to have enough mass to remove the model from the impression without breaking it. Trim the base of the cast parallel to the occlusal table plane on a model trimmer to within a few millimeters of the gingival margin for ease of manipulation. Note that the palate and tongue areas are removed. To create reservoir space on the model, apply approximately a 0.5 millimeter thickness of Ultradent LC blockout resin onto the labial surfaces. Stay about 1.5 millimeters from the gingival line. Do not extend to the incisal edges and the occlusal surfaces. This prevents the margin of the tray from opening upon biting and or impinging on soft tissues. Patients may experience less tooth discomfort from tray pressures with reservoirs because of reduced orthodontic pressures. In addition, studies have shown that without custom reservoirs, there may be a greater likelihood of physical loss of bleaching agents, which could account for low bleaching potential. Cure LC blockout resin for approximately 10 seconds per tooth with a handheld intraoral light. Wipe off the oxygen inhibition layer. With a vacuum former, heat the tray material until it sags approximately 1.5 inches. Activate the vacuum and adapt the softened plastic onto the model. Allow the tray material to cool and remove the model. Cut the excess bulk of material away with Ultradent Utility Vinyl Cutters. Use Ultra Trim Scalloping Scissors to carefully scallop the tray just shy of the gingival margin by about one quarter to one half of a millimeter. Scallop the gingival embrasures to prevent covering the gingival papilla with the tray. The papilla may become sore and irritated if the tray covers them. Return the tray to the model. Check all tray extensions. Gently flame polish the edges, one quadrant at a time. While still warm, hold the periphery of each segment firmly against the model for three seconds with a water moistened finger. If an area is short of the desired length, gently heat and push the tray material to the desired location. If this over thins the tray material, a new tray should be fabricated. Once you have prepared the trays for your patient, use the provided patient instructions to instruct the patient on bleaching procedure, tray cleaning, tray loading, application of opalescence, and tray care. Explain the treatment regimens to the patient. Load the tray by expressing one continuous bead of gel approximately halfway up from the incisal edge on the facial side of the tray from molar to molar. This should use about one half to one third of a syringe. Place tray over teeth and gently press the tray to move the gel into place. Next, gently wipe off excess gel with a toothbrush or clean moist finger. The patient will leave the tray in for a period of time recommended by the dentist. Be certain to read the product instructions, warnings, and information for the patient contained in the package and advise the patient accordingly.
Doctors continue to report growth in the custom whitening category as more patients are becoming aware of their smiles and want whiter teeth. According to recent data, home whitening kits are used only by 15% of consumers, indicating ample opportunity for sales growth and deeper penetration of the market. Almost half of surveyed dentists who dispense take-home whitening kits report an increased demand for professionally dispensed take-home whitening kits. With growing awareness of custom whitening kits, it's important to know how opalescence differs from the competition and why you should recommend it to your patients. The bleaching material in opalescence contains an ingredient called PF, potassium nitrate and fluoride. PF has been proven to reduce sensitivity while bleaching, reduce caries, and increase the micro-hardness of the enamel. The revolutionary opalescence PF formula is sticky and viscous, which helps the gel stay in the tray and prevents it from leaking into the mouth. Opalescence contains 20% water, reduces dehydration, shape lapse, and sensitivity. Opalescence was originally designed and continues to incorporate significant water in its formula. It is well known that dehydration of teeth can lead to sensitivity. This can also cause a greater shade relapse upon completion of bleaching as some of the apparent whitening is simple drying of the teeth, not actual bleaching. Opalescence bleach contains a patented sustained release formula that provides optimum results and patient acceptance. The bleach stays active for 8 to 10 hours once placed in the mouth. It can be worn overnight and will still be active. And, whether used for an hour or two overnight, the gel's sticky viscosity keeps it on the teeth and prevents volumes from being swallowed like other gels. Most other bleaches promise bleaching activity for only one to two hours. Opalescence comes in four concentrations, 10, 15, 20, and 35%. Lower concentrations are worn for longer periods of time, or patients who are prone to sensitivity may use them. Higher concentrations can be worn for less time. This choice in concentrations demonstrates a continued dedication to providing patients with the widest smiles possible without compromising comfort or safety. Additionally, Opalescence is great tasting, flavored in mint, melon, and regular.